Hello, my name is Dr. Judy Lynn Mitchell. You may call me Lady Read Along. Reading is so much fun. You get to learn new words, see beautiful pictures, use your imagination, oh, and have fun listening and learning. I'm here on Pack 14, reading with Bookie Lookie. Hello, Bookie Lookie. Boys and girls, let's see which book Bookie Lookie wants us to read. Which one, Bookie Lookie? Okay, Little Bunny Saves the Day by Liza Charlesworth. Ma and you see a bun bunny on the cover of the book. Let's open up the book to see what we will be reading. In a sunny meadow lived two bunny brothers. Their names were Big Bunny and Little Bunny. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. And they're brothers. It looks like they're having fun playing ball. Little Bunny wanted to be just like Big Bunny. Big Bunny could pick vegetables from the garden. And see the carrots? Oh my, they look like an onion and a cucumber. Big Bunny could turn the crank to get water from the well. Oh, and we see the picture of the well and Big Bunny cranking the bucket. And he's getting water from the well. They're such buddies. Let's turn the page. Big Bunny could use the vegetables and water to make soup. Sometimes Little Bunny helped. He had to stand on a chair. And you see Little Bunny standing on a chair. I hope he's careful. It's not too smart to stand on a chair. So I hope he's being careful. But they are helping each other and it looks like fun. One day, as the soup was cooking, Big Bunny said, let's go for a walk. He took the key out of his pocket and locked the door of their home. Mmm, that was smart to lock the door. Then off they went. Big Bunny took big hops. Little Bunny took little hops. When they got home, Big Bunny took the key out to unlock the door. But oop, oop, oopsie, it fell down the well. Oh my. Look at the expressions on their faces. Oopsie, it fell down the well. Let's turn the page and you see how the key is falling down the well. Oh no! How would they get the key? Then Little Bunny had a big idea. And you see the light bulb? He's got a big idea. He hopped in the bucket. Lower me down, he said. Hmm, you see? He's in the bucket. And Big Bunny is luring Little Bunny down in the well. So Big Bunny turned a crank and lured him down. Down, down, down. At the bottom of the well, Little Bunny saw the key and grabbed it. Now pull me up, he said. Oh look, there's a frog. Grab it, grab it. And there's the key. And there's Little Bunny reaching for the key in the bucket. Okay. So Big Bunny turned the crank and pulled him up. Up, up, up. You saved the day, said Big Bunny. Sometimes it's good to be little. Can I unlock the door, asked Little Bunny. Sure, said Big Bunny. So Big Bunny lifted up his brother to help him reach the keyhole. 
He looked so happy. When the brothers got inside, the soup was all ready. Little Bunny had a great big bowl. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, I bet the soup was delicious. Did you like that story? Lady Read Along liked the story very much. And it just goes to show you that everyone can be helpful. Little Bunny saves the day. I love that story. Okay, Boogie Looky, you ready for another story, darling? All right. Our next story is Bob, the Scaredy Bear. <laughs> oh, look at this picture on the cover of the book. The book is by Liza Charlesworth, a gang from Scholastic Book Company. What do you think is happening on the front cover picture? Looks like the bear has a flashlight. Let's turn the cover and see what is going to be in the book. There once was a little bear named Bob. He had claws and sharp teeth. He could growl super loud, but guess what? Bob was a scaredy bear. I want to be brave, said Bob. So he decided to pitch a tent and camp outside all by himself. <laughs> Look at the bear. And who is this looking and peeping at the bear? Let's turn the page and find out. Oh, it looks like there's mommy. As the stars twinkled in the sky, Bob crawled into his sleeping bag. Good night, said his mom. I am right inside the cave. Growl if you need me. Help me, help me. <gasps> look, 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 see what's happening. They look like little scary fingers here. Now Bob was all alone and he was a scary bear. Bob saw the shadow of a spooky hand. It waved its long fingers. He let out a frightened growl. Help me! Help me! <gasps> I think Bob was really scared. What do you think, Bookie Lookie? Well, let's turn the page to see what happened. Bob's mom ran out of the cave. Don't worry, she said. Oh, it's just a branch. Bob peeked outside and felt silly. From now on, I'll be brave, he said. Just growl if you need me, said his mom. Moms are so special. Just growl if you need me, she said. Bob was all alone again. And he was a scary bear. Bob saw the shadow of a gigantic bird. <gasps> Help me! Oh, it was flying right toward him. He let out a frightened growl. Help me! Oh my, he could see it in his flashlight. He was scared. Bob's mom ran out of the cave. Don't worry, she said. It's just a plane. Bob peeked outside and felt silly. From now on, I'll be brave, he said. Well, just growl if you need me, said his mom. Bob was all alone again, and he was a scary bear. Soon he heard footsteps. Thump, thump, thump. <gasps> thump, thump, thump. Oh, I would have been scared too. Then 
then he saw the scariest thing yet. It was the shadow of a furry monster. The monster was coming closer and closer. He let out a frightened growl. Help me! Ooh, it looks scary. This time, Bob's mom didn't run out of the cave. Why? Because she was already standing right beside the tent. Don't worry, honey. It's just me, she said. <laughs> and look, she has a little bear in her hand. I wonder who she's going to give it to. Of course she's going to give it to her son, the baby, baby bear. I thought I'd bring out your best buddy to keep you company, she added. Then she handed Bob his teddy bear. Suddenly, he felt very calm. Oh, look at the smile on his face. He loves his little bear. And look at mommy. Mommy's know just what to do. With my best buddy by my side, I can be brave, Bob said. And this time, he meant it. Remember, just growl if you need me, said his mom with a smile. Oh, he looks so happy with his bear. And look at mom. Oh, mom is smiling. Let's turn the page. But guess what? Bob didn't growl another time the whole night. Instead, he snuggled up with his teddy bear. Ooh, ooh. He looks so comfortable. Then he fell fast asleep. Oh, yeah. Guess what else? He was no longer a scary bear. Bob was a brave bear. And look at Mom looking out at Bob sleep. Especially in his dreams. And it looks like he's got to be on for bravery and for bear. And looks like he's pretending that he's a superhero. What a delightful, delightful book. Bob the Scaredy Bear. And we have a big bear. Yes, we have a big bear with us. Let's read our next story. Okay. Stan the Square by Eliza Charlesworth. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be fun. And remember, we're using our imagination. The story begins with a square named Stan. Stan had four even sides and was a very nice guy. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. Yes, and it looks like Stan is going for a walk. One day, Stan moved to Shapeville. He liked his new home. He just needed to make some friends. I will stroll over to the park, he said. Mm -hmm. Looks like Stan is walking. Okay, and the sign says, Welcome to Shapeville. I wonder why it is named Shapeville. Let's turn the page and find out. By and by, Stan met some circles. They were playing catch with a ball. Hello, he said, tipping his hat. Will you be my friends? But the circles just laughed. <laughs> Sorry, we are way too cool to be friends with a square, they said. That made Stan sad. So he strolled on. Look at his sad face. And look at the circles in the background. So Stan 
just strolled on. He kept walking. Stan didn't feel very happy. By and by, Stan met some triangles. They were playing in a rock band. Hello, he said, tipping his hat. Will you be my friends? Oh, look at the triangles. My, they're playing their instruments. Look like they're having fun. But the triangles just laugh. <laughs> Sorry. We are way too cool to be friends with a square, they said. That made Stan sad. So he strolled on. Oh, poor Stan. Mm, he looks so sad. Mm, the triangle still looks so happy in the rock band. By and by, Stan met some hexagons. They were having a fancy picnic. Hello, he said, tipping his hat. Will you be my friends? But the hexagons just laughed. <laughs> Sorry, we are way too cool to be friends with a square. They said that made Stan sad. So he strolled on and looked, they're having such fun. The hexagons, they, they're eating cupcakes and just enjoying themselves. And then all of a sudden, they laughed and they told Stan that they were too cool to be friends with a square. Mm. So Stan looks like he's crying. <laughs> Let's turn the page. What oh, bookie looky, Stan is sad. Now Stan was very upset. So he sat down on a bench and began to cry. <laughs> None of the shapes think I'm cool enough to be their friend. Then he heard voices say, hello. He looked up and saw a bunch of squares. Don't be sad, they said. We'll be your friends. Awesome, shouted Stan. The squares ran. The squares slid. The squares rode. The squares hit. It was so much fun. And look, the squares are sliding down the sliding board. They're running. Then Stan said, let's build something. So the squares all got together and made an awesome tower. Oh, how many squares can you count? One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four squares the square tower <laughs> this is what they built beautiful hmm wow we the tower was so cool that the circles triangles and hexagons all came by to see it and you see the hexagons the triangles the square tower and the two circles Stan Sorry, we said we were too cool to be friends with a square. Your tower is awesome, they exclaimed. Can we help you build a new one? Oh, it looks like they want to be friends with Stan now. And they are asking if they can help. What would you do? What would you do, Bookie Lookie? Well, let's find out what Stan did. Sure thing, said Stan. So the shapes all got together and built the coolest tower ever with Stan the Square at the tippy top. Oh, let's look at the tippy top. Let's look. There are the hexagons, the squares, the triangles, the circles, and there's Stan right at the tippy top. Oh, that was a wonderful, wonderful way to use our imaginations and let the shapes talk. Can you remember the shapes? Yes, I can hear you. Oh yes, the circles, 
the squares, the hexagons, and the triangles. Good job. Very good job. Don't go anywhere. I want you to read these reading tips with your parents. And we'll be right back. Lady Read Along has another story for you today. Smart Cookie by Liza Charlesworth, Scholastic Book Company. First little reader, Smart Cookie. Oh. <laughs> 998. 999. 1,000. In a cozy kitchen lives Smart Cookie. She could read big books. She could do hard puzzles. She could count all the way up to 1,000. Wow! Smart Cookie was pretty awesome. There was just one problem. She thought she was smarter than everyone. So she told her pals what to do. Mm, let's see what's happening in this picture. Looks like a beautiful, beautiful kitchen. And you see Smart Cookie. Oh, she has a cute little bow. And she is working on a puzzle, reading big books, and this big book says, The Big Book of Intelligence. Oh. But there was just one problem. She thought she was smarter than everyone. So she told her pals what to do. Mm, let's turn the page. Smart Cookie told her pal how to fly a toy plane. I know best. Do it my way, she said. That made Apple really mad. Ooh, look at Apple. Look at the expression on his face. Let's look at the next page. Smart Cookie told her pal Pretzel how to build a block tower. I know best. Do it my way, she said. That made Pretzel really mad. Mm. <sighs> Smart Cookie told her pal Milk how to draw a scary dinosaur. I know best. Do it my way, she said. That made Milk really mad. Oh, she's making all of her little friends mad. Hmm, I think Milk was doing a good job. Thank you for using your imagination, boys and girls. In fact, Smart Cookie's pals got so mad, they decided they didn't want to play with her anymore. So they all ran away. <gasps> There's the pretzel running away. There's the milk carton running away. And there's the apple running away. They did not want to play with Smart Cookie anymore. Did Smart Cookie get upset? No way. I'm so smart I don't need friends, she said. Then she sat down and read the dictionary. A smart cookie made a mistake. As she was reading, she fell asleep and rolled 
right off the table. Oh my goodness. Look at Smart Cookie. She fell and she rolled right off the table. I wonder what happened to Smart Cookie. Okay, Bookie, okay, looky, let's turn the page. We're gonna find out. Then she landed on the floor. Oh. And crack! Smart Cookie broke in two. <gasps> to make matters worse, a dog wanted to eat her up. <gasps> Look at the dog. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like he's happy that Smart Cookie fell. Oh, look at Smart Cookie. Oh, she looks so sad. And she's broken into two pieces. I wonder what's going to happen. What should Smart Cookie do? Help me. Help me. She called out to her pals. So Apple, Pretzel, and Milk ran over and looked down. Oh no! Luckily, they knew just how to help. Oh, let, look, her friends are looking down. What did they do to help? Okay, Apple tossed down a treat and said to the dog, Fetch boy! So the dog went to chase it. Wow, Smart Cookie would not have thought of that. Then Pretzel tossed down some glue and said, use this to put yourself together. Wow, Smart Cookie would not have thought of that. Oh, she's tossing the glue down so she can glue herself together. And then the dog is going to eat the bone. Fetch, fetch, oh, so much is happening. Next, Milk tossed down some yarn and said, grab hold and I'll pull you up. Wow, Smart Cookie would not have thought of that. And she's making sure that the yarn is down so Smart Cookie can climb up. At last, Smart Cookie got safely back to the tabletop. And they are all together. Thanks, she said to her pals. You taught me I do need friends. You taught me everyone has good ideas. And look, they are all together. There's Pretzel, there's Apple, and there's Smart Cookie. They are all together. Hooray, said Smart Cookie's pals. Let's work together on a project. So they did. And look at what they wrote. Look at their project. It says, we are all smart in our own ways. And they're all smiling. Oh, wasn't that wonderful? And yes, we are boys and girls. We are all smart in our own way. We all have something to contribute because we are all special and we must love our friends and play nicely with them. So we pretended <laughs> and I have an apple so I'm gonna pretend I'll use my imagination that the apple helped me. Oh in fact I have a red apple and a yellow apple. Oh and look bookie looky Thank you for bringing a beautiful rainbow with all the colors.